Well, greetings and salutations, Series 9 would-be sales supervisors. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio in uh, fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request for QID 1276498. We're willing to help you with any questions. It's easier if it's a Kaplan question because you can just send me the QID. If you don't have a Kaplan QBank as a paid supplement or Kaplan uh, Quick Sheets for the Series 9, I highly recommend them uh, with my Guru 10 discount code at checkout. Uh, that brings the price down a little bit. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan content. All right, so let's get this uh, thing done here. A customer buys 100 shares at 30 and sells short 200 shares at 50 on the same day in a margin account. The customer then writes one ABC October 30 call at five and two XYZ December 50 puts at six. What is the required deposit? Well, the first thing we have to recognize in this question is that uh, we actually own the ABC, right? So we're writing an ABC October 30, call it five. You shouldn't be struggling that that's an obligation to sell 100 shares of ABC, which I do have in the customer account here. So no worries. This is a covered call. All right, so 100 shares at 30 is $3,000. Half of that, reg T, 50% is $1,500. For that part of the transaction, you're gonna need $1,500. It says the customer uh, sells short 200 shares at 50. So 200 shares at 50 is gonna be uh, 10,000, half of 10,000, 50% reg T is 5,000. So it's gonna to have to have 5,000 for that part of the transaction. So in terms of the stock, we're gonna need 6,500 bucks. Uh, they're hoping maybe in this question that you as a test taker think that I'm going to have to come up with 20% of the market value plus the premium, less the out of the money amount. You show is a nine or four. I'll put this in the four playlist as well. Uh, recognize that formula. I don't think you're going to have to calculate it on the four maybe once, but nine, it's mainly just recognition. But remember here, I don't have a margin requirement to short a call when I have the stock, right? So usually there'd be a margin requirement uh, if I'm going to, you know, obligate myself to sell stock that I don't have in the account in the Yankee call. So there is no margin requirement for the October 30 call. You have the stock. And then here I have two XYZ December 50 puts at six. And again, I don't have to do the 20% of the market value plus the premium less the out of the money amount. And the reason I don't have to do that is because I have an obligation to buy 200 shares of XYZ. And I'm going to need to buy 200 shares of XYZ to cover the short position. So, you know, this put is uh, not going to be a naked put because I actually have an obligation to buy stock that I need to cover the short position, right? If I didn't have the short stock position, then again, it would be 20% of the market value plus the premium, less the end out of the money amount. So not only do I not need margin for the covered call or the covered put covered because of the underlying stock position, which is going to at some point result in me buying the stock. Uh, I actually get to use that money to meet the margin call or the margin requirement. So be careful. The thing that makes this trick a little tricky is it says, what's the required deposit? Now, had I asked you, what is the margin requirement? It's 6,500. But of the 6,500, there's already some money in your account, right? There's already $500 from selling the call. So that's already in the customer account. It's not going anywhere, by the way, because, you know, it's wrapped up in, in this position. So I got uh, 500 of that already in your account. And then we also have uh, 1,200 from selling those two uh, puts, right? And that's 1,200 that's in the account. So I say, hey, Mr. Jones, uh, you need 6,500. That is your margin requirement. But of that margin requirement, there's already 500 in from the call. There's 1,200 in from uh, selling those two puts. And so what you need to send in is the difference, which is $4,800. So that is the margin uh, call. I don't like this as required deposit, but that's what that means. So, you know, the margin requirement is what you need. The call is the difference between what you need and what you have. The margin requirement is 6,500. The margin call is the difference 48. And now what makes this a kind of, uh, you know, a margin call is it says, what's the required deposit? It did not ask, what is the margin requirement? It said, what is the deposit? And that's again, going to be the call. The call is for $4,800. So hope you found that helpful. I think that's a little tricky. Uh, I don't know how much time I'd want to spend on this type of thing. 
as it relates to your series nine or your series four. Yeah, mainly the margin on both the nine and 10 are mainly recognition. What I mean by that is, can you pick it out of the lineup in terms of that 20% or, you know, can you kind of have a general understanding that when you write a covered call, the uh, premium can be used to uh, offset or, you know, be used to reduce how much money you're going to have to come up that margin call. So that primarily be what uh, I'd be concerned with as a test taker. All right. Well, remember inch by inch, your series nine is a cinch yard by yard. Your series nine is hard. And if you have any other questions you need help on Kaplan or other test prep vendor, just send them my way. Bye-bye.